In this video, I'm going to show you how can you connect your Microsoft Azure DevOps project to Intland Retina to pipelines so you can capture your automated test results in Intland Retina. With Intland Software's Intland Retina Connector, you can seamlessly connect and publish the test results of your test automation activities stored in an Xenet format from Azure DevOps into Intland Retina. In this example, I already have my test results ready in an Xenet XML in the test results folder. In a production environment, this test result file is an output of your test automation platform. In this example, Xunit XML, we can see the test cases summary, their class, their running time, and the summary of the results. By the end of this demonstration, you are going to be able to publish these into Intland Retina, and in the process, the connector will create the test cases and the test runs for you. Let's see how we can set up the connector and the pipeline. To be able to connect your Microsoft Azure DevOps project to Intland Retina, you have to install the Intland Retina connector first. This is something that you can do from the Visual Studio Marketplace, where under the Azure DevOps section, you just have to search for Intland, select the Intland Retina connector, where you can hit get it free, then you will have to select your organization. This organization in this case is going to be the Intland Retina Integration Organization. And once the installation is done, I'm going to be able to configure my pipeline and to be able to send the test automation results into Intland Retina. To verify that my extension has been successfully installed. I just go to my organization settings and here you can see under extensions that the Intland Retina connector has been successfully installed for my organization. Before we get started with the actual pipeline configuration, let's create a new variable group where we securely store the Retina integration user and this user's password. Once this is done, we are ready to create our pipeline. I'm using GitHub for source code management. I'm going to select my repository and I'm going to start with a new pipeline. I already have a YAML file that I could select, as you can see an example one right here but I'm gonna start from scratch. In the YAML file, I'm going to specify a few things before I begin. A pull request trigger, a variable group, where I'm storing my integration user's username and password. And I'm going to add stages. As you can see, I'm going to create my Retina upload job. And now it's time to use the Intland Retina connector. where we can specify the test XML folder path where we store the XUnit XML results, the Retina server URL, the automation username and password is something that we store in the library, as you might remember. And the last thing to specify before we continue is the test configuration ID, the test case tracker ID, and the test run tracker ID. These are IDs that we can obtain from Intland Retina. To obtain the test configuration ID, I just have to navigate to my test configuration tracker, where as you can see, I already have an automated test test configuration. And this is the item ID that I'm going to have to use in the configuration. So I just navigate back to my pipeline setup and enter the test configuration ID. The tracker IDs can be also obtained from Retina. And the most simple way to obtain these IDs is to open up the tracker itself and you can find the tracker ID in the URL. I have entered my test case tracker ID and test run tracker ID. Now it's time to add what I've configured. As you can see, based on the configuration, I have extended 
the uh, pipeline's YAML file. And now it's time to save and run the pipeline. And once the run is done, the job is executed, we are going to see the test cases and the test results being published into Inkland Retina. As you can see now, the job is completed successfully. And now if I navigate over to Inkland Retina and I refresh my test run page, by selecting all the test runs, we will see the executed tests where we see the results in Retina. You can see we have executed over 100 test cases. And by navigating over to the test cases, we can find the automated tests that we have published into Inland Retina through the connector. And on the test case, you can also see the related test runs. Look into the requirements coverage by going to the tools and opening up the requirement coverage view, where by selecting the requirements, you will see how many of our requirements are covered with the test case. And here you can see the automated test results. We can open up the hierarchy to show the test cases and their test results.